Days after a high school graduation ceremony, an Asheboro High School grad gets his diploma. The school said what he was wearing was a dress code violation. He draped a Mexican flag over his graduation gown. This situation has sparked a social media frenzy. Some saying the student is in the right, others siding with school officials. WFNY News 2's Adoria Chumba spoke with both the student and the school. Ever Lopez and his family walked out of the school building behind me. He had his diploma in his hands and he held it high to a cheering crowd this coming days after the actual graduation. Be it known that Ever Martinez Lopez, having a satisf satisfactorily completed all requirements of the State Board of Administration and the Ashburn City Board of Education, and is therefore entitled to this diploma. Woo! Yes. 18 year old Ever Lopez now has his diploma after days of tension between Asheboro's Latino community and school leaders. Lopez said the school principal held back his diploma after the graduation ceremony last Thursday, saying he violated the graduation dress code by draping a Mexican flag over his gown. I'm grateful that I got what I deserve, you know, and like my mom said, it's not just mine, it's everybody, it's the whole community that was with me, that had my back. And, you know, it really means a lot that so we made it, you know. The first to graduate high school in his family, Lopez, said he wore the flag to show pride for his family's heritage. And we are so, so proud that he is proud of his roots and where he comes from. And we're so proud of this. It is not just for him, but for our community. The graduation policy allows students to decorate their graduation cap and adhere to standard school dress code. But it is not explicit about flags. Community advocates say the whole thing could have been avoided. There is a vague policy that was in the books that was not enforced by any other person that night that was there except for Principal Crooks. And what we know is that even after the ceremony, there was an opportunity to do things differently. And the school district says it strongly supports students' ability to express their heritage uh, at the appropriate time and place. But they also say they will reevaluate the policy in light of this incident.